Hey, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining the Python live coding series. Today we are going to discuss about some of the programming exercises like password generator, how to create the hidden password, how to create the first uh, n squares, like if you give the one value, how to square the each other value to generate the dictionary, right? And count the uppercase letters in the given file. Let's go to the like PS code and we'll see the programming, right? The first one, how to generate the like the password. For this, what I will do, right? Then my password should be generated in the randomly. I will take the random module. Okay. And also the password is, is the combination of multiple uh, information, right? Like uh, digits, the password must contain the digits, and also it contains the function variations and also it contains the ASCII values, okay? So string is a predefined module in the Python. So we can use to utilize these digits, functions, and ASCII letters to generate the, the password. Okay, so we imported the packages and now we'll go to the creating the combination. Okay, for example, I will take here symbols is equal to, it's, in my, it's a variable. Here I'm going to store all these digits, punctuations, and ASCII characters. So simply like we can say digits plus punctuation plus ASCII characters. So actually the combination of these three, I'm going to take it into the one variable called the symbols. So here, what I will do, right? I'm going to use something called secure module. Okay, secure underscore random number. Okay. Uh, any name you can give that's up to you so where is that secure random random dot if you say that secure random okay basically like in the random dot system random not secure random i'm using the system random here basically like if i'm going to this system random what it will do right it will create the random numbers uh from the system itself but if you look at this description of the system random basically like it is uh, initialize the uh, it is basically it will create the random numbers, but it doesn't support all the operating systems. But anyway, the OS like uh, Linux, uh, the Windows, and the Mac, it's going to be supported. Okay, so let's go and create this password here. And I will say that the word, the variable name is the password equal to, and I'm taking the empty string dot join because my password is in the string because it's combination of all these digits and everything okay so i will use this secure random and uh, this will have the function called choices and choice i will take only one choice i'm making the from the only one password i want so that's the reason i'm going for the dot choice method so in the right that i will pass the symbols and the symbols i'm going to use the list comprehension here for i in and we can generate the values here okay if you want a 16 digit number you can generate something like we can create here for i in the range of 16 and finally we are going to print this password okay let me go and print off this the password let me execute this whether we are going to get the output or not okay yeah we got some password with the 16 digits absolutely fine right this is what we are actually we are generating the 16 um 16 character password it's not digit it's 16 character password it contains the ascii characters it contains the digits and also sometimes punctuations also can be possible here right this is how we can create uh, with that and also there is another way of also doing it okay so let me take the same code let me create a new file same code but little i will change I will show you okay so instead of using the system random okay what i will do right i will change the code okay i will use a random int, 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 int instead of using this secure random like system random i can also use the something called randint can i use something called randint random dot rand int is there right you can take this rand int this is also possible to create the values okay so let me create some simple programming already we have the symbols okay there is a symbols so instead of using the secure random i'm going for the another way okay so for this 
what we can do right um, we already have the symbols so i'm going to create this as a password to password to is equal to same like empty string dot join and the join method what i will do right i will take directly choice inside the choice i'm going to keep something called symbols because basically like we need the data from the these symbols only like the symbols is the combination of digits and punctuations and ascii characters and after that for and we can take instead of i i will take here j j in and the range of okay so in the range i will say something called random integer okay rand int and random will take the two parameters i'm passing the like uh, how the ra what range you are looking for it so 8 comma 16 so let me clear the text and uh, i'm going to print this password after this okay print password too because i created the another uh, logic to create the random password okay the first one is using the system random the second one i am using the like rand integer this is this is the logic okay these is two ways we can create it okay i will say that this line number seven nine sorry let me i will say that seven nine and ten this is one method this is the second method to create the random variables sorry random passwords see we got this one also right so we also got the, the different combinations so both the ways we can work one is a system random one is a random integer but basic basic logic is here okay you are taking one empty string after you are joining the some choices choice is nothing but randomly it will pick some numbers but how many values it will pick it we are saying this based on this for loop okay this based on the for loop it's going to be we can say that okay let's go to the second problem statement so what is the second problem statement is talking about right so we are going to now create another source of code like for example same same password only we can take but i want to generate the password with the different combinations okay right now we have done generate the com password with the different combinations if you look at this uh, what is our second statement we need to know about the hidden password how to create the hidden password how to create the the hidden password that is the next uh, our concept it is easy to do it that's uh, not going to take uh, much time but hidden password when you're going to create hidden password you have to be like uh, it's a very simple generally hidden passwords how it will be like you'll say that star star something like this right so your password for example if i enter the username username is like for example raja and the password is something you enter that should be shown in the stars okay that is our next requirement so what i will do right i am going to create another uh, file here so the file is the exercises2 okay and create new file that is the exercises size 2py i'm going to create hidden password now so generally we'll ask user to enter the username and password so it's very simple username is equal to input of and uh, we can mention like this okay enter the username or enter your name it's a username so similarly like we can ask the user to enter the the password enter your password all right so this one is the password the next one is we can take the password length that's important to create the hidden password so i will say that the password and uh, underscore length the length to be calculated by using the len function in the python i will use the length of password the user whatever the enter the password that length i'm going to take and after that i will use the hidden password hidden password creation is very simple okay hidden password is equal to take some empty string or like with the combination of star okay take the string with the star and you can multiply that one with the how many characters are there in the string okay this is where you can do it so for example user entered the six characters password that length is the six and six stars will be given for that 
okay so i'm going to print now the username and the password in the print statement okay so how we can do this one for example i want to say that hi username and your password you can also tell like that okay i will take the f string and just give the good formatting here so we keep this square bracket open and inside that i will keep username i will use the username comma then we'll say that your password but when you make sure that you are creating your f string okay so better we cannot close this we'll continue on this so your password is giving the formatting string so it works only in the 3.6 version from the 3.6 and 3.7 3.8 but not the older versions the f strings works only in the latest versions and your password is i'm going to keep this is the hidden password i'm formatting entire data so finally you have to close that one with the quotes so very simple right okay so i'm going to i'm going to execute this code we'll see this how it's going to be work say so enter your name raja and the password i am entering here for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 enter see hey raja your password is something like this okay this is also we can do it hidden password there are other ways also do it it is a very simple way if you get any question in interviews and all someone ask you how to create the hidden password with the star or like someone will ask you to create the password with the like or something like the cap symbol you can generate by using this let me enter here again raja 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 enter you can see so it is a hidden password okay how to create hidden passwords in the python it's very simple or taking the calculating the length that length you are appending it okay that 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 is that much easy you can create it right okay so that's what about hidden password do we understand the first exercises is all about creating the password generator and next one is the hidden passwords let's move on to the third exercise here we are going to discuss about how to create okay how to create uh, some of the programming with respect to the like uh, okay let's go to that i'm i'm going to use some coding to create the dictionary okay let's let's go to this the first n squares to generate the dictionary how to do it it's a very, very simple right how to do it the very simple code i'll go to that and create the exercise exercise 2 dot py or 2 is already there dot py so basically here what we can do right we can go into create a dictionary okay how to create a dictionary normally how to create first n dictionary i'll give the number is n then i can create it right i can create it the then dictionary how to do it yeah basically we are creating the um, dictionary here so user will enter the uh, six and it will create the six items of uh, dictionary will be generated so how to do that it's so very simple and there are multiple ways we can do it i'm going with one way for example we'll ask user to enter the number so number is equal to so it should be integer and it should be converted into integer right we we'll last we'll take the input function this input function is going to be used to actually like asking user to enter the how many numbers you want so input of inside this i will say that enter the number and after that this number which i am going to take and i'll create the dictionary so for that we can use the so many ways we can do it we can use the enumerate function the enumerate of i can say that i star i okay and for i in and we can take something called range okay so how many numbers you want okay the numbers is like whatever the number user is entering the plus one if you want you can take it up so if i'm going to print this number for example if i take e let go and print of e so what is enumerate will do it will give the like sequence order right so print of e if i am going to execute this 
let's see that programming first i will enter the one and okay okay we want to enumerate this the enumerate value you want to show into the results then go for the list of e okay let's go and print this so i'm going to ask the uh, enter the user four and the four zero to zero one four but it is a list i want to convert into the dictionary so for that i can use the dict of a list of this one okay i can easily create it right now dictionary let me go and enter so six so six character so basically zero zero one one two four three nine so basically we are squaring the each value and actually how this zero one two three four five six come actually we are achieved by using the enumerate so enumerate will give you the sequence number for each and every element present into it actually you are passing the sequence but it's generating the list the list is converting into the dictionary by using the dict function now you can ask me the question uh, is there any possibility can you do without using the enumerate yes you can also do that and i will say that another way of doing creating the dictionary so i will say that dict okay so dict2 it's a dictionary two combination so basically we can use the dictionary comprehension so how to create the comprehension you can use the curl braces open high is it high colon colon key colon value the value is always like here star star i right so star star i we can take so this i star star i is actually from the i we can take the from for sorry not from it's for i in a range of in the range we can take some values like one comma n plus one or else if you want from the zero also we can take zero anything is fine okay zero n plus one this n is actually in, in this case it's a number right which are the value which we are taking the number now i'm going to enter but before going to execute the programming let's print this dict 2 then we'll see the output let's go and execute this i'm giving the enter the six you see that output okay the problem is this the so now we got the zero one one two four three nine four six six one we are actually number plus one right totally six is there six plus one what we are doing star star double star let's go with the one star and uh, that is like uh, now six see zero one into one one two into two is four three into three is nine four into four is sixteen we are not squaring basically like we are squaring only here but if if you put the double star that value will be change it right so that's where we can create uh, a dictionary from the different ways one is with the dictionary com comprehension the another one is with the like enumerate also we can do it okay so user will give the number how many dictionary elements you want that's where we can create it okay so last exercise for today we are going to discuss about uh, how to find the uppercase letters count of uppercase letters in the given file let me go and uh, create a new exercise file size 4.py so basically we need a text file so inside the text file i'm going to keep some text let me create first text file here okay or else we can create directly with the python programming only there we can uh, mention all the code okay it's a very simple i'm going to use the with keyword to create a file so with and uh, open in the open file we will have to mention the file path so anyway i'm creating in the session file folder so inside that i'm creating the something called um, some source file so source.txt any name you can give i'm just giving the source.txt and uh, once you open the file you have to give the name of the file right so basically we are counting the letters i will say that count letters colon then we can it's nothing but alias name so we are providing the alias name and after that the count basically i will take it as a zero later it can be incremented so text is equal to then um, this count letters is actually the my file object reference you will take this one and dot read because this is a file object it has a read and write functionality right so let's go to the for loop 
and in the for loop i will read each and every character is um, available if that character i will make it if any character is uppercase i will take that one okay so this text in the text i will read each character that character what it will do right so we will use the if condition whether this character is the uppercase or not okay so character dot is upper a function i'm going to use this upper function which is going to be like character will be so i want to calculate the count so very simple we already taken the count is equal to zero now what i will do write count plus is equal to one this is where we can increment this and finally we'll print the count the count will be printed okay so let's go and execute this code let me clear the text here i'm going to execute the code and we'll see okay so what is saying that there is no no file in this okay so basically like we are not specifying the which mode it is right if you specify the like w mode the file is going to be created but normally by default it is a read mode that's the reason file is not created i changed the mode to w okay but now you can see this source.txt is created but the exception we got because of we are giving only in the read mode or uh, w mode we created so now i'm going to change to the read mode so it's fine zero characters so in the source.txt nothing is there so i'm going to create now okay so a b c d e f and g so if you can look at in my in this uh, source.txt file we have only uh, two characters a g is only in the upper case okay so let's go and execute this exercise four either it will show the number is two or not yes absolutely two i'm going to add one more uppercase letter that's one two uppercase letters totally here one two three four is the number that i'm going to execute the code it's giving the output is four right these are this is the way we can calculate uh, how many number of uh, uppercase letters lowercase letters even like uh, if you want to know how many votes are there okay how many numbers are there all this way we can do it but how to read the file that read the file will be nothing but the content from the content you can create a logic based on the uh, requirement whatever you have it this way we can do it okay so that's all it for today on the different uh, exercises we discussed in the next session i will discuss more on to that and uh, let me know if you have any questions we can discuss on further thank you so much for watching it